This is an Android phone, and this is an iPhone. I'm Derek with iMore.com, and today we're going to talk about how to move from Android to iPhone using the new Move to iOS app. So we're going to go ahead and start things off here on the iPhone. We're going to go through the typical setup process of selecting our language and our region and connecting to a Wi-Fi network. We'll go ahead and enable location services. We'll set up Touch ID and we'll set up a PIN. Now here's where things get interesting. We are given the option to restore from an iCloud backup or restore from an iTunes backup. Those are useful if you already have an iPhone. In this case, we don't. We're switching from Android. Set up as new iPhone, we'll set up it straight, but move data from Android lets us take everything that's on this, the important stuff like our contacts and calendars and photos, and transfer them onto the iPhone. So that's what we're going to do. It tells us that we need to download the Move to iOS app onto the Android phone. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll fire up the Play Store, and we'll do a search for Move to iOS. And there it is, we'll go ahead and download and install this app. It's asking for all these permissions because it needs access to your calendar and your contacts and your text messages and your photos to see them, to send them to the iPhone, as well as your Wi-Fi connection because it's going to create a direct network with the iPhone. We'll accept that. It's gonna download and install. It's a relatively small app. It installs rather quickly. We'll open it up. And here it is. It's asking us to go ahead and do the move to iOS thing. We'll click continue here. We agree, of course and it's asking us to find our code from the iPhone. So we will tap continue here on the iPhone and it gives us this code. This is to help us create a network that bridges the two devices. So we have our code and it is 5222653120. All right, and now it is connecting to the iPhone. It'll create a Wi-Fi direct network between these two. It'll prepare everything that is on the Android phone to move over to the iPhone. We're gonna go ahead and speed things up a bit here. Okay, now it has figured out exactly what it wants to transfer from the Android phone. It's offering our Google accounts, bookmarks, messages, contacts, and our camera roll. The camera roll is the big one here. As you can see, it's a whopping 397 megabytes. So we'll go ahead and tap next here. And it starts transferring everything right on over. Everything has been transferred over from the Android phone. We can tap done here. And we're done. The Android phone is back to just being its Android phone self. But we're done with that now. We'll switch back over to the iPhone. You see it is moving items into place. It's transferred everything over. Now it's putting your contacts in the contacts app, your calendar stuff in the calendar app. Um, putting all of your photos and videos into the camera roll. So that part can take a little while, but it doesn't take terribly long. And now the whole transfer is complete. We'll continue setting up our iPhone. We're going to head and create a new Apple ID because we're setting up a new account here. We will turn on Siri. We're gonna turn on Diagnostics and we'll share app analytics with developers and we'll go ahead and get started here. And here we are, the iPhone just as you'd expect. Now, if we go ahead and tap into photos here, we could see that the photos that I had on the Android phone have been transferred over onto this phone. Everything that I took over here is over here. And now we're, getting, we're gonna start getting pop-ups for entering our passwords because it's transferred over the account settings, but it hasn't transferred over the passwords. They still wanna make sure that you're staying secure and it's going to ask me repeatedly for different passwords and accounts that I have. Go ahead and pop in the settings. You It'll bring up the pop-ups, you enter in your password and you are set and ready to go with a brand new iPhone transferred over from your Android smartphone. For more on Getting to know your brand new iPhone for great tips and suggestions, plenty of great apps, check out imore.com.